What's up, gang? This is Kenzar Kenzilling and Zika Milligan of Villain Village. Villain. We are back on Persona 3 Reload. We're on the Igus episode, but last episode, we started things off. Metis pulled up on us, was like, yo, my sister, we finna kill your friends and shit. And I was like, fuck no. And then I awakened to Orpheus and shit. And then now we like going through the abyss of time and shit. And we finna, we, we doing shit. Let's go. <laughs> I sense something really strong directly below you. You could be in for a fight as soon as you head down. Are you ready? Let's go. The fuck is really strong compared to me. Multiple shadows ahead. It looks like they've been waiting for us. And that strange presence is there too. The same one from before. Makoto! <gasps> the fuck is you doing? You weak the fire? Fuck you. Oh, snap, Sonata. Hold on, we finna whoop his ass. Pull the trigger. Persona QT? Or 2Q, whatever it's called. Ah, uh, we did it. Hold on, I guess that's kinda cold. High Priestess Major Arcana card. Why does Metis have Marin Karin? Who the hell are you seducing besides me? Made out of that battle in one piece, at least. So I guess, how you like being leader? It's not particularly difficult. Impressive. Seems like that was some great technique you showed in that last fight. Well, we can move on now that the path's clear. That figure might prove to be a problem though. We can worry about that later. We'll be good so long as we take down anything in our way, right? If I knew there was gonna be a Door up ahead, give it a look. Man, no. Let me check shit out first, damn. Let me explore, bitch. Oh. You need more discipline if an opponent of that caliber is considered a threat. No, real shit. We should be we should be too strong for that motherfucker. Damn, we don't have any Twilight fragments? I just realized that. How the fuck does I guess know what Twilight fragments are? Oh, wait, I forgot. They, they, there was already a thing. Me too, and everybody knew about it too. I forgot. <laughs> Silly me. Silly me. Let's just go. This door, I wonder where it leads. Is this where I think it is? Or is that like later? Is that deeper in the what you call it? Oh, it took us back. Perhaps. The desert of doors. Interesting. Well, now we know where that door leads. Expanded after defeating a shadow that guards a given floor, a new pathway to the desert of doors will be open there. It allows you to use the desert of doors to travel between your completed areas at your leisure. It's basically a two-way teleporter. What even was that figure anyway? Hard to believe it has nothing to do with us. Y'all niggas blind. We'll, catch it. we'll get out of here for sure. I swear y'all eyes don't work. Oh, the atmosphere on this floor seems different. This looks cool as fuck. And so do the shadows. Be careful. Oh, there's a treasure chest. There's a treasure chest. I love you, Fuka. Excuse me, sir. They look like they're weak to fire. Yeah. Weak to fire or lightning, I guess. Let's try lightning. 
If it's not lightning, it's fire. I'm calling it. I knew it! How do I get the Yergy? I want Jack Brothers, man. I want, I want, I want Jack Brothers and King and I. Hey, sister! You're my sister! Oh, um, I was just calling you my sister because you said I could, right? Excuse me, sir. Nope! Fuck you, Nick. That's our way forward. Oh, shit! I thought he had left, bro. He was finna come eat my ass. Them damn cameras is. Bro, regular enemies feel like bosses right now, man. We need a teleporter. We need to go home. Um, Wait a minute, please. Looks like there aren't many floors left on this path. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what might be waiting for us at the end. So don't let your guard down. Oh, there's a treasure. There's a shadow. You want to see me out? You a slut? We go back, just to be safe. Yes. Money. Here comes the money! Money, 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 ching ching! Money, 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 money! Money, 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 money! Ooh, nigga! Fuck on somewhere, pussy! Use you, bitch. Look, sister, a rare one. Got his ass. Die nigga. Die nigga. Die nigga. Die nigga. Huh. That was a good workout. I'm a work this dick in your ass. That's stop. Stop. Um, Looks like this is the end of the line. Cause what was that thing we've seen so many times along the way, I wonder. Oh sorry. Everyone's heading over. In the meantime, take a look around and see if you can find anything useful nearby. The teleporter. I mean, come on. Wait, there must be something on that floor. The rest of us were just about to head over there. Do you want to return to the desert doors without taking a look around? Fuck, man. I. Right. If I lose my damn progress, cause you told me not to go back, I'ma fuck you up. The door. Yes. Looks like we've reached the first goal. This place was bigger than I thought. How many more times we gotta do this? I don't know for sure. But judging by the desert of doors, I'm betting it's not going to be just once or twice. <sighs> I was afraid you'd say that. We're looking for the source of our troubles. So logically, it should be at the deepest level. Then... All we can do is keep going until we reach the end. It's like Tartarus all over again. The two of them do share some similarities. Like the friggin' shadows wandering around. Man, in here I thought we were done with them for good. 
The lost are all gone now, though. So why are we still dealing with the shadows? Only way to know is to start looking for an answer. Not like we're getting out of this until we find one anyway. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just after the hell we went through, I finally had some peace. I told myself I'd focus on the future and not look back. But now it feels like nothing's changed. I thought we were through with fighting. Yukari. Time doesn't flow normally here, so it's no surprise you feel that way. You'll find that there will be many opportunities to revisit your past here. What's that supposed to mean? Mall? But we were just in... What's going on? Did we make it out somehow? I don't know. Something seems off. Also, uh, isn't it kind of hot? You kids. Oh, Kurosawa-san. What are you doing out here on a weekday? Shouldn't you be in school? Oh, but it's spring break. Spring break? That was a couple months ago. It's July now. And what's with the getup? You all headed somewhere? Or... Oh, um, no. We're just, uh... Well, I'll let it slide since you kids are a little... Different. Don't think I'll always turn a blind eye, though. If you're up to something, you won't get off scot-free. Are we clear? Jeez. Oh, All the dates displayed here say 2009. That calendar, too. So when he said it's July, did he mean... July of last year? That's impossible. Are you saying this is the past? Hey, I guess his sister. Hey, are you listening? Are the things here that interesting to you? N no, not at all. It's all normal everyday stuff, right? This is a fountain, and that over there is a store. Well, I come here to gaze at the fountain myself from time to time. R really You do the same- But there is something mysterious about this place. For all of us, not just you. Tell me, what is this place? We got here by passing through a door, remember? Doors like that are located throughout the Abyss of Time. Each of them connected to the past. Then, this really is last year? How else can you explain the different time and season? But it seems you can't just go anywhere in the past. Only somewhere from your memories. I don't think this place connects to anywhere else, either. Seriously? The past? Oh, man. We're lucky to have ended up here. Let's use this time to gather supplies. Whatever we get here should be usable until the abyss of time disappears. Perhaps that's why the door led us here in the first place. It may have reflected your inner thoughts. She seems to be taking this pretty well. It's also mind-boggling to me, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, on the bright side, at least we won't starve now. And that was how we learned why the Abyss of Time was called as such.
It was a place where one could revisit bygone days. But looking back on it now, that wasn't the only thing that astounded us. Maybe we all subconsciously sensed some sort of salvation. Hold on, I gotta rock. I gotta jam out. I never felt like so miserable. I never knew I think in this will last forever. Moons reaching stars. If you hold me tight, feel your heart be so tough. But it lasts long. Welcome. Well, wow, you're quite a rare customer. It seems this lady owns the antique shop. Officer Kurosawa told me about you. This is but a humble antique shop. Having said that, I could I believe I could be of some assistance to you. Know what a base model? I remember, I remember. Don't worry, I remember. What are you looking for? As long as you need. Damn, we're broke. What are you looking for? Your love flows all over me. Big ass door in the living room. I think this is where I left off. Is this? Oh, wow. I didn't think we'd emerge here instead of the desert of doors, but I guess it's not completely improbable since this place seems to be fully connected to the abyss of time now. Maybe it was influenced by everyone thinking of making frequent supply trips. In any case, this will certainly make it easier to go back and forth. Hello? Yo, Lil Sid, what's with the hold up? <laughs> no way. Seriously? Hey, keep it moving. The rest of us need to get through too. Move! Though we secured a means of acquired supplies, we remain trapped in the dorm. What awaits us further inside the labyrinth? Nice. Uh-huh, that's right. Junpei and Koromara rejoin the party. I'd say that's mission accomplished, yeah? Nothing to it. Leave the explorer to us. But it was I guess who found this But it was I guess who found a supply room, not you. <sighs> yep, you sure did good, Junpei. Well, you know what that means, Akihiko. Fuck out my party, nigga. Fuck out my party. We got the ace effective in this bitch. Get the fuck out my party, nigga. It was a good run, you know? I enjoyed you. The fuck? I apologize for asking you to come on such short notice. How embarrassing. Oh, how rude of me. I seem to be distracted. Despite requesting your presence in the first place. Now then, seeing as you have awakened to a new, your new power and begun exploring, I have something of a proposal for you. I happen to have a certain matter on my mind, you see? However, it is a matter for which I have yet to find a solution. It has me feeling rather stumped, quite perplexed, positively discombobulated. Therefore, should you allow it, I would like to observe those newfound abilities of yours. I ask that you fulfill my request. I believe doing so would prove to be an adequate demonstration of your power. Naturally, you will be rewarded upon the completion of any such tasks. Well, that concludes the detailing of my proposal. I, waiting, I am very much looking forward to witnessing you utilize the fullest extent of your power. Alright. Guess we got a new door to enter. Let's go. Um. Second door, are you ready? Let's go. Because I kind of cock blocked y'all last episode, we're gonna go, we're gonna finish. I'm gonna try and finish both doors in this one. See you. I'll try scanning ahead. I can send strong enemies below, but they're still far away. Please be careful. Wait, wait, I'm getting another strange reading. Is it that dark figure? Somehow it feels like they're right in front of you, yet far away at the same time. I'm sorry. I can't pinpoint this other presence's location. I'm gonna try looking into this. You dog. This is so damn nigga. Hit it! It's right here! Hold on. 
Got his ass. Throw a wind at him. It ain't gonna do nothing, most likely. But here we got Joe Pay. We fucked up. Oh, let's see your orgy mode actually. She cooked. We handle him though. We're handling him. He's so lightweight. I forgot, bro. Junpei is the crit monger. We need to. We need to you. We need him. He's gonna get those criticals. Flipped it. Me and Jupe. So, so We're also like going back. What's that all about? Gotta be something weird behind all this. I mean, what other explanation is there? Me and Jupe are gonna have back breaking sex. There's no fucking way I just set that bullshit with a straight face. What the hell is my issue? Guys, would I be wrong if I killed myself? Cameras, man. Kind of down lately. I thought finding a supply route would be something to be happy about. I don't comprehend. Oh, uh, nobody's gonna say nothing. I don't blame them. Nobody wants to talk about my boy Makoto. He's too goaded. They can't put his. They can't. Put Fuck you thought, nigga. Fuck you thought, nigga. Get you, pussy. You're a whore. I think that's cool, though. It is cool how we have to level back up because, you know, they've been out of practice since they since they saved the world. They've been out of practice and shit. That is cool to me. I think that's cool. Kind of annoying, though. Been, I got all them niggas to level 99, and they somehow got down to level 20 some shit. How are you doing, I guess? It seems you've gotten used to being the leader. In fact, everyone seems more assured now. That's nice for me since I can relax and focus on navigating. Let's both keep our wits about us and we'll make it through this. Sound oh, good? There's a treasure chest. Buka, you are such a sweetheart. Yeah, let's give Junpei the hero's knickers. All right. <laughs> the, he the hero's knickers. A k k knicker, yeah. Old people say it all the time. Shadow well, I guess that applies for both words, actually. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? Shut the fuck up. You just said that. I had quit drawing that nigga. Be fuck no. The tables? No. The fucking tables. I think these beach freaks go crazy for me. Face to face. Shaking the man. L to the J. Now follow me, whore. Call me daddy, nigga! We found the weakness. Oh yeah! Da 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 da! Baby, baby! Pussy. Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that scared me so bad. You suck. Jump his ass. Gang bang this nigga. Da 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 da. How do you like being a leader, Probably not a total cakewalk, huh? But hey. 
got your back. 100%. Now, put on your game face and let's get to merch. Man, that shows a lot of character development, man. I still remember when he was low key hating on Makoto for being because um, Makoto was the leader. It shows how much he developed, man. Um. Could you hold on a moment, I guess? I'm picking up readings that one of those doors we found in Tartarus is here on this floor. It's not quite the exact same reading, but would you mind looking out for a while if you're investigating the area? I'm on that door. So we got mine that doors in this bitch too. You ain't see me. Now that makes me think. Were mine that doors in the original Persona? In Persona 3? Well, were mine that doors in the original Persona 3? Or were they in FPS? Were they in portable? Or is that like a reload? Or is that like a reload original thing? <gasps> that reading I was telling you about before, it's close. I knew it. They're the same ones we saw in Tartarus, but there seems to be more of them. We need to investigate further. Three doors. I wonder where they lead. I'm detecting shadows behind each door, starting from left to and going right. The shadow readings get stronger, but I'm picking up treasure chests with similar signals too. So the leftmost one is the least dangerous with the smallest reward. The rightmost one is the riskiest with the greatest reward. Where to begin investigating is up to you, but be sure to consider your con current condition. What? They don't know who I am. Y'all get y'all trying to give me a y'all trying to give me a choice between easy and hard. My nigga. Hold on, I almost said some wild shit. I almost said some wild shit. My dick hard, nigga, so I gotta go hard! Let's go! These niggas weak to light magic. Yeah. I'ma handle them. All right. Well then, time to do this. Tent, tent. Baby! I think the, aren't those big ones weak to wind and lightning or one of the two? Don't do that. Ah, oh, you whore. You little whore. You're a little slut, aren't you? You're a little slut. There we go, the crit monger. Oh, he's weak to that. Then might he be weak to assault? Nah. You car, snap out of it, man, dang. How are you still mad? You about to be a liability. We need your healing. About to, about to piss me off, about to piss me off. See, this is why y'all need to keep y'all training up, bro. Cause back when Makoto was here, and P3 Reload before episode I guess before the answer when y'all was on the journey You would have been snapped out of that bullshit Hell no Let's go Huh? It don't matter we still handling it Fucking suck, bitch! Nice, you 
Let's let's go. Woo, we did that. I ain't even use I ain't even use Izanagi. Oh my goodness. Ring of Sorrow. Turquoise. Best of Sorrow. Sword of Sorrow. Theater of Sorrow. Okay. Nihil Blade. One more. I get gem. One more treasure chest. I might have to end it after this. Energy release from the Monad door. Oh. So I can't go in here then. Oh, okay. So I went I went through the toughest door and that's it. Alright, in that case, I can just chill. Man, those were some fights. Oh my goodness. That's what I that's why I love for this that's, that's what I come play persona for though. The beautiful stories, of course. Of course I play for the wonderful stories. But man, that's also what I play for. That engaging combat. Had me sitting there like, okay, can I survive this? Can I survive this? Am I gonna do this? But that makes me wonder, like, what happened to all this shit that uh, Makoto bought them? Like, they just don't got it no more? It's just gone? They threw all that shit away? You're getting closer to a strong presence. It's not much farther now, be careful. Reading on that door. Oh, another monad? I bet. All of us exploring together kind of reminds me of before. Forget what I said. I don't want to kill the mood or nothing. They really don't want to think about Makoto, man. That's crazy. How splendid. Oh, you appear to be harboring a new potential. Hold on. The personas you've acquired are resonating with one another, elevating you to greater heights. Justice. Welcome to the Velvet Room. All right, go to the next floor. Fuck, bro. What's that? It just went down a floor. I know I've sensed it before. We'll handle it. I'm picking up a strong reading directly below. Are you ready? Nigga, I'm always ready. Strong reading. Come strong read this dick. There, a shadow. Wait, and over there. Bro. Oh, he disappeared again. I'm sick of him. You got fingers and shit. I don't know where you trying to put those fingers, Let's but I'm gonna need you to get on somewhere. I don't get down like that.
Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's go. Magician Major Arcana. We did that. Unbelievable. We're only going to encounter more obstacles chasing after that figure. How annoying. Don't you agree, sister? It is no different than usual. That means... No different from usual? Oh, I understand. You're referring to your past experience with the others, right? At any rate, let's keep moving. I'll be with you from the beginning to end. The shadow dropped some sort of object. I'm not sure what it is. Hi. Show me that back at the dorm. Not completely sure yet, but I get a feeling it might be useful. Thanks. Another victory seized. <laughs> like my new catchphrase? Just kidding. Shut the fuck up. Martial Arts 101. Meteor Knuckles. Slugger's Jacket. Best Bouts DVD. It's like, like these are, let's, let's making me think of like all the things I, when I was playing, right? Like all the things that I have bought and watched that made my, that made me so, you know, good at the, that helped me be good, better at the game. Yeah, I should be able to fuse King Frost now. Um. As soon as I speculated, these parts could be equipped to Igis's framework. The new base material is much lighter than the current hardware. It also has different thermal properties and structural durability. Hi. Hey, Igis. I think these parts will allow you to do things that would have been impossible before. Would you like me to install them? I'd understand if you were hesitant, though. I'll leave it in your hands. Uh -huh. Okay, you can count on me. All right then, this would also be a good time to do some maintenance, so why don't we head to your room? Who can install the new parts? Um, hey. I adjusted your mobility unit and power output to improve overall stability. Now you should have a wider range of movement. That'll make transitioning from running to attacking smoother, which should be more energy efficient. Mmm. So I had that move when I was with Makoto and I got that off of, I forgot what DVD, but I got it off a of DVD. So I guess because I found that DVD, they're giving me that move through this. That's Klesberg. So what do you think? I'm eager to test it out. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Just let me know if you find any more parts and I can install them for you. What's this? You free at all? Want to do something fun? Check out this Best Bouts DVD. We can see what we can learn a thing or two from what we find in the abyss of time. Ancient revelations. These discoveries can be helpful in battle. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, these fights got me on the edge of my seat. Don't see much I could use in actual battle, though. Also, why the heck would you guard and run from the opponent here? It makes zero sense. Hey there. Yo, perfect timer, Sonata. Mind if I pick your brain a bit? I see. So you're wondering why this guy didn't just follow up with another attack instead. I mean, look, his opponent's pretty much cornered, right? Don't get why you just back off after that. Not bad. Well, I don't think it's a bad time to get off. Seems obvious enough to me that he's getting baited. He's letting himself get hit on purpose, probably because he's setting a trap. What would you do here, I guess? Would you still charge ahead, fist flying, when you know it's a trap? Analyze the situation. 
answer. You guys are on the same page then. Seriously, you guys? Come on, the answer's obvious. Going guns blazing. <laughs> After all, the best defense is a good offense. You just gotta turn the tables and all that jazz. Junpei, you're gonna get yourself killed with one of these days with that thinking. What if you meet your match one day? You gotta be realistic. Oh, hell no! <laughs> oh, hell no! Well, yeah, but it's just... Going for a one-hit KO is one heck of a power move. Don't you agree? No. Yo, for real? Really? Personally, I think an ultimate attack is the one thing every good hero needs in their arsenal. Well, if that's how you really feel, then you better work hard and see it through. Not like there's only one way to get stronger. You're just, a, on a, you're just walking a different path than some of us, is all. <laughs> so now it's like... Overcome an internal struggle. See you around. Show us where your path of strength takes you, Junpei, in our next battle. Uh... I just wanted to talk about killer moves and ultimate attacks, though, huh? Thanks, Samada's been reading it and he's got some questions. Think it'd be a good idea for him to get some pointers from people with different fighting styles. Let's head over. Thank you. Thanks, I'm starting to get it now. This sure is helpful. I've never thought much about why you do certain certain exercises or regimens or anything like that, really. You should. It's important to know where your muscles are located and how they work together. Thank you very much. Thanks for demonstrating, Igis. That made everything much easier to understand. I also learned something new. Oh, right. Anything else you're curious about? I'm all ears. Ask away. Well, kind of, but it's fine, really. It's not a big deal or anything. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If there's anything you want to know, let's hear it. Uh, it. It's about what the book said at the end. The never give up no matter what and press forward in the face of failure bit. Isn't that more about developing mental fortitude than actual strength? Failing means not getting results, right? Let me think. Yeah, you got a good point there. However, regular training improves more than just your physical strength. I guess, do you know what I'm getting at? It gives you confidence. Impressive. Exactly. Specifically the confidence you gain after conquering a milestone in your training. I think. And that confidence you build will see you through any future hardship yet to come. You'll believe that you can pull through, that there's nothing you can lose after everything you've endured. Wow, you really think so? The real battle takes place before you even get in the ring. If you want to make progress, you've got to commit to training every day, non-stop, no shortcuts. Sometimes I forget that myself, but it's important to bring it back to the forefront and stick to your routine. After saying his piece to Amada, Sonata seems to be in deep thought. All right. Of course, that alone isn't enough to secure victory. You also need to figure out a regimen best suited for your goals. Thanks for helping me out. Actually, you helped me reignite my passion for this sort of thing, Amada. I should be the one thanking you. My mistake. Looks like I took up more of your time than expected. At least Amada got something out of it. Thanks for letting us a hand. I'm glad they. I, I'm glad we can still do these though. I know some people might be sitting there like, man, just get to the game, bro. Like, fight, bro. Get to the fights. Get to the story and shit. And it's like, man, I really, I, I really appreciate those little moments of just sitting down and chilling with everybody. Now that we can get the Kurosawa sign, I guess we're good to go for a long haul. Uh, how long is this all gonna take? I heard a lot of people didn't really like Yukari in the answer. I'm just. Maybe it's something that happens later on. I don't know. I don't, but I don't, I mean, she just seems kind of annoyed at the situation. Just kind of understandable. I'd be pissed off too. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. If it was me, I'd probably be like, I'd probably be more pissed than she is. Not going to lie. That thing I detected when you got to this floor. 
Never mind, my apologies. I'm not detecting any particularly strong enemies at the moment. But the shadows roaming this floor seem to be stronger than the ones you faced before. Be careful, Igis. Oh, there's a treasure chest. That's cold. That's why he's on the squad. That's why Junpei is on the squad. Yabba dabba dooba dooba. Labba dabba dooba dooba. Labba dabba. Labba dabba 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 dabba. Metamorphosis to Gorpa the Gorpa Labba 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 Gorpa Labba Laboratory. Gamma loop. Labba dabba. I'm a gamma goop. A little farther down, the path seems to end again. You're almost there. You can do this. Oh, there's a treasure chest. It's been some time since we saw that unknown figure. But nothing's happened. At least my sister's safe. But I want her to accomplish her goals, too. Aww. So you get pot like GGA on a man, boom, boom, like zoom, zoom, boom, 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 boom. Oh, hello. Looks like we reached the end of this section. Well done. Everyone is heading over. Take a look around before they get there. Next abyss of time. Make sure everything is still recording well. Well, Sergeant. Huh? Eh, you can go. Just another one of them freak accidents. Hey, kid. Sorry I took so long. It says here your name's, uh, Ken Amada. Is that right? Oh, jeez. Sorry about what happened to your mom. Or she gave her life to protect you from the wreckage. Anyway, I gotta take your statement, since you're a witness and all. If I told you what happened, would you believe me? Of course I would. Helping people out is our job. My mom was murdered. What? Around midnight, when I got up to use the bathroom, I heard voices by the door. I looked and saw this teenager holding his head and yelling. Hold on, you're saying he did it? But the whole house collapsed. There was this shining horse-like monster that came right out of him. It roared. And just like that, my mom and my house were- Damn, Shinji. Oh, the monster was it? No way that actually happened. Don't laugh, bro. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't laugh. It's just sometimes after a traumatic incident like this, people can. That is I not what you it. say. I really did see it. I did. Look, kid, it was all an accident, plain and simple. Drunk driver crashed his car into your house. What? A car crash? We've already found the car and what's left of the driver. Now all we need is an account of the accident. That's a lie. You're just making that up. Now, I know you might think so, but it's true. Sergeant, can you come out here? Yep, yeah, be right there. Wait, I really did see it. 
Listen, I'm sorry for your loss, but I have to go. Um, I, I hope things get better. This nigga does not care about his... He does not care about these people, bro. Liar. You said you'd believe me. Damn, that's fucked. <laughs> Adults can't be trusted. So I'll find him myself. door is gone. Huh? The first door didn't disappear. It just opened up to a new place. Never mind that. What we just saw was... <laughs> that sure brings back memories. All I thought of back then was finding my mom's murderer. But in the end, I couldn't manage it on my own. All I could do was myself why he had special powers and uh, if things would have turned out differently if I had them too maybe that night was the reason I started experiencing the dark hour Amada my family must have fabricated the accident as a cover up I'm sorry for that hey Metis what was that all about what was what about? Oh, I see. Apparently, we can only witness past events if not everyone was involved in the first place. That's new. That's not what I meant. Why did we see such a painful memory? Huh? How would I know? It's your past. <sighs> you better not be hiding anything. How would I benefit from that? This is just speculation, but I think the doors reflect the minds of those who passed through. That's why we were able to find a place to acquire supplies and return to the dorm directly. Right now, you wish to erase the Abyss of Time as soon as possible and make it out alive, correct? If so, then although what's beyond these doors may seem irrelevant, there might be a reason we're seeing it. Perhaps your time would be better spent thinking about that reason rather than accusing me. He's got a point. What did you say? I'm sorry, Akihiko. I'm sorry. She might have a point. She might be onto something here. There might be an actual reason behind you seeing these memories. So maybe you should think about that instead. She has a point. I'm not agreeing with her. I'm just saying, like, she, she's onto something here. It's all right, really. What she's saying. Is probably true. Amada. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Back then, things weren't perfect, but everything seemed so much more straightforward when we were fighting. That feeling we all shared it just wasn't something you can get by going to school every day. Sonata san. Recently, you've dedicated yourself to boxing again, right? Isn't that because you don't want to forget that feeling? Or maybe I'm just projecting. <sighs> no, I think you're right. Why don't we just drop the subject? There's no point in dredging up the past. Don't you remember why we put everything on the line? If we stop moving forward, then this all would be a waste of time. Yukari. Come on, let's go. For what reason do we witness a vision of our friend's past? I don't know. All right. I've concluded my own investigation. Yamagishi will pick up the search from here. From this point on, I'll be Jane joining the main expedition with all of you. Looks like the whole team can focus on exploring yes. now. If you need my help, don't hesitate to call for me. We'll be fine, Mitsuru. We'll be fine, don't worry, we'll be fine. Glad to have you, but we'll be fine. I've been waiting for you. Pardon me, could I have a moment of your time? What up? Have you noticed the clock over there by any chance? 
You see, it is I who decided to place it at that location. Of course, that was a bold-faced lie. It actually appeared completely of its own accord. I suspect it may prove useful somehow. Do give it a try if you are so inclined. Is it what I think it is? Oh, skill card duplication. That's not what I thought it was. Not what I thought it was at all, actually. Why are we going there? We went here. We went there. Now we're going here. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, or read a moth tap into the next one. All right, man. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm, I'm happy to be back on Persona, though, man. For real. I'm so happy to be back uploading Persona. I'm also playing Persona 5 right now. I think I'm going to start uploading it once I finish the Royal Expansion. I just got into the third semester. Man, that plot twist was crazy, by the way. But I just got to the third semester. Well, I, I, I finished that dungeon. And I got the big bad guy dungeon now. But, um, yeah. Basically, I'm saying once I finish the Royal Expansion, I'll start back editing and uploading P5. So let's have some fun with um Persona 3. Oh, and you know, just some extra. If y'all like visual novels, I'm playing those as well. I've got the entire Fate route of Fate Stay Night uploaded. Y'all can check that out. I'm gonna do Unlimited Blade Works. I think once I finish uploading all of this and maybe a bit of Danganronpa 3, since I've had that on the back burner for who knows how long. But peace out, I love y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed.